been such a pinky vibe. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. 
The next slice is gonna be a chit chat. I'll talk a little bit of my thoughts before bed and then it's my devotional. But I don't really have much to talk about. Before going to bed, I don't know if you, I told you guys in a previous video, but I started 2024 off with a fast. So I've been fasting internet and social media. Without boring you, how it works is that from 8 p.m. all the way 10 a.m. the next day I'm not allowed on the internet on social media there's a few exceptions like the Bible app music and navigation like let's say I'm leaving the house in the morning like at 6 a.m. and I need to know the route I could use the GPS like it, it doesn't count or if I'm checking the weather that doesn't count calls and texts as well don't count it's pretty much just social media and internet the only breaks where I am allowed to be on the internet and social media are from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. which is pretty long gap that's four hours and then from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I wanted to have at least one little slot before bed just in case I need to answer emails or do certain things another exception is schoolwork if it's school related I'm allowed to be on the internet but this is not all in vain I'm calling it a fast because it is for me to get closer to God I've been replacing all these times where I ache to be on my phone with just reading the Bible or reading a devotional. It's been going really well, honestly. When I'm bored and I can't sleep, I'm having a hard time going to bed, I'm like, oh, I wish I could just entertain myself with some TikTok and some YouTube. But I haven't been doing it because I've been really like on my P's and Q's. Beginning of the year for me has been rough. I do think that if it weren't for what I'm doing now, I would have bombarded myself with as many distractions as possible just to escape from what I've been going through. But yeah, another thing that I've been doing is journaling. Journaling only works when you're writing as if no one is ever going to read this. I think before I've been journaling, I always kind of like was trying to sound so authory or I was trying to sound like grammatically correct, all of this stuff. Like I was just trying, I was sticking to one language. Instead of recounting my thoughts of the day as if I'm storytelling, I'm just gonna write them out as they pop up. It doesn't have to have context because you're only giving context because you, you feel like someone else is reading. So far YouTube has been really exciting, really fun, really, you know, it's been a little vibe, but I do get discouraged from time to time, not because of the numbers or subscribers but just in general how much effort it does take out of me which no one's forcing me duh but it's like i'll be in school working or doing my homework or listening to a lecture in the second the class is over i'm thinking about content 
it's which it's like a light has flipped especially starting this new year uh, the last thing that i wanted to talk about is i know it's valentine's um week day i don't know how early i'm gonna post this i want you all to reach out to someone you love mom dad parents friends classmate sister brother boyfriend girlfriend husband wife fiancés um partner anything and anyone dog cat and just give some love okay this month i've been reading ecclesiastes and solomon is ruthless he says it as it is it's been a chapter that i really enjoyed reading so that would be the one that i would recommend if anyone is looking for a chapter to read it's really short well i was so scared and because i was scared of it like the enemy feeds on our fear because i was afraid of it you know life is beyond emotional things oh yes emotions are there because we we are born with emotions but whoever can dominate his emotion and get into the realm of the spirit where you are strong because of whom you live in you yeah. it makes you strong to forsake everything for God's sake i'm telling you god will never disappoint you and you will experience what christian i mean spiritual maturity is all about because we are many baby mature baby christian <laughs> I mean, it's a decision you make. I will be happy no matter what. So I'm filming this in the past, but you guys are going to see the whole entire week that I had leading up to this point. Obviously, it's Valentine's week or Valentine's is either coming or has passed. I'm in a hotel, if you can't tell. I'm looking a little bit rough right now. That's why I'm not really trying to look the camera in the eye. So this is how my Valentine's week went. I did go and get my nails done. I went to Pretty Little Thing Spot, best spot in Montreal. The clips that you're seeing is the fresh one I was getting it done. I'm absolutely in love. They give me Aura vibes, Pink Friday vibes, Valentine's, you know. I also went and got my toes done. I do think getting pedicures, regardless of if it's winter or summer, it's a vibe because I feel like my feet are soft, they're always taken care of, they're always clean and I hung out with my friends this week. We don't see each other all the time, you know those type of friendships, the core ones. You don't see each other all the time but every time we do see each other, gold, pure gold. It doesn't matter if it's once a year, once a month, once a week. I also went to work. I don't really show myself at work but yeah, you know, I went to work. I did my little shift here and there and I've caught a fever a little bit midweek but I was able to push through it and I'm glad I did. The reason why I'm in the hotel room is because my friends and I did Galentine's over here, but I didn't film literally any part of it. So I just felt like clarifying. So here's some snippets of what I did before they came over. I feel so awkward going out without a bag, like with nothing. Just raw dogging the shopping. Like I need a little bag, no? But I can't be going out with this huge thing, so. I guess, I guess that's, it is what it is. I just hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good Valentine's. I feel so pink. I feel like today has just been such a pinky vibe. Pinky, 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 pinky. I'm getting sick of it, but low key, the pink has made me feel like a princess. Um, 
the girls are about to come so i'm gonna film galentine's after this i just wanted to do my outro because there's no way i'm doing my outro with the girls there's just absolutely no way i just don't want to be that kind of content creator that has to step away from the group to do content mm -mm -mm. i just want to thank y'all once again for 4k <sighs> I feel, I feel happy, I feel, I feel grateful, grateful, and I feel fulfilled. I'm happy because I never expected it, but God gave it to me. I'm grateful to him. I'll see you in the next vlog. Please do subscribe. Please do subscribe. Only because, um, only if you want to. But like, genuinely, if you do like this video, then subscribe because I want every video to be a good first impression of my channel, which means that like, if this is the first video you see of me, the only way I'm gonna know that it was a good first impression, even if it's like a boring video, a short video, I'm trying to put all of my efforts in because it could be someone's first impression on me. So you never know where this will take you. What's it giving? Welcome to my crib. Maybe seven minutes. And I'm gonna be there right away. So final review, <coughs> um, yeah, I wouldn't rate, $20 not necessary. They did give me a lot, but it doesn't taste as good as some of the Mandy's I had before. I don't know. It tastes okay, but the, the, the seasoning, not the seasoning, the dressing had no salt really. It was like, I guess he just put a little sprinkle. Even with the extra dressing that I put, like it still wasn't enough. Maybe it's also cause I just mucked down some ice cream. So I'm not as full. Um, But yeah, no, I keep giving it a chance. Cause you know, everyone wants to be healthy to get the skin clear and all of that. But $23, mm -mm. it never gave. It just didn't. No, no. <laughs> Bun, you know, you know. Oh, don't show them your your throat down there like that. Or we could do um, two pigtails. <laughs> 